Hello everyone and welcome to a slightly different video because you know like I don't know if it's ever happened to you but you but like maybe find a certain channel that is slightly more controversial and discusses more um real life topics that are a little bit more mm, a little bit more serious and sometimes you think well should I really just watch a gaming video and then there's things you're like no there's certain things that I have to discuss um, because it just has to be done it's something that I wanted to discuss was the fact that, like, I recently come across a, a channel called Rel, Rel, Red Pill Philosophy, and I'm assuming the whole Red Pill Philosophy thing is the fact that it's to do with the Matrix, and the Red Pill is what wakens Neo up to the real life world. Ooh, that's a good name. I like it. <laughs> it's, it's cool. I like it. The guy is like a, like a total Donald Trump philosopher, like, uh, supporter. He believes in everything that he does. And I'm sure, that even though he says like, some things, I'm even sure that he'd probably, he'd probably do some things, but... The worst thing that anybody can do, which is why, even though I do vote, the worst thing that I hate is the fact of, like, thinking that I'm, I'm choosing this person because I believe the other person is less evil, which is known as the lesser of two evils. Like, we all know, we know given the current movement of feminism, I mean, don't deny it, we know that Hillary Clinton has got shot because maybe if you don't vote for her, you're anti-feminist or whatever. But also know that we also know flat out, since the mid-90s or whatever, Hillary Clinton wants the chair. She wants the chair. That's it. I guarantee you for the last 15 plus years, she is drooling for that chair. She wants it. Like... When she gets that chair, her life is complete. It's so obvious. But of course, being a woman, she gets a majority of the women's vote. But despite the fact that there have been numerous fucking scandals and shit that she's been involved in. Uh, for example, the, I mean, just I even though this wasn't directly tied to her because she was obviously viewed as the victim in this. And people were like, oh, so she's viewed the victims to use it. But let me just say, Bill Clinton, some suspect action. Monica, arsehole. Maybe suck some dick. Apparently, uh, Miss Clinton was like, I'm so, uh, there was, it was a scandal. It was um, people in other political parties uh, construing, making stories up against my, my husband. That apparently she was actually furious at the bastard. Like we, we didn't get the dick sucked by other people. But I guarantee she, she wants that chair. She wants it so bad. It's like that one thing. It's like the holy grail. She just can taste it, man. But then you've got the other, like the other side of things. Was like I don't understand. Is people like, as I said, like six. Wait, have you, what's the population of North America right now? Like six hundred and fifty million. And these are the two people best you could choose? These, this is it. This, this is the two people that made, made the cut. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Now, as I say, I'm not that invested in American politics because, well, I'm not American, so... <laughs> but seriously, these are the two choices you have. Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. I'm just trying to say, not, ev not everybody may feel this way, but I just feel like your entire... Election year this year is a complete fucking joke. You have a self-obsessed, narcissistic, just sociopathic, fucking workaholic woman obsessed. I mean, I can tell you, you just look at her like last fifteen years of her history, and you can tell she's just she's dying for that chair. <coughs> and then you look at like the other end, which is Donald Trump, which is a guy that may, was successful, has a good business head on him, has made some serious cash. But you've got to think in the last, fifth, also 15 years, when was the last time somebody went, told Donald Trump no? Like, motherfucker, you, like, come on, like, come on, mate, like, let's get a grip here. And that's what it is, like, you've got a woman just on a fucking holy mission, and you've got a guy, like, a complete narcissist where, like, nobody can tell him no, and it's all balls and... Well, do respect the fact that Donald Trump doesn't give a fuck and says, like, oh, it's not a man, I'm not a woman. This is what I'm doing, and I'm running this campaign. So, <coughs> the problem with it is the fact that Donald Trump believes he can be anything. He's just like, hey, 
I'm going to be president this year. He's going to do it. Like, he may well do it. <coughs> Hold on, Matt. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of cough at the moment. I was trying to fade it for like the last five minutes, but cough. <coughs> hey, oh. And the thing is, well, I, I say, I repeat, that not everybody outside of America has this opinion. The two candidates that America has as their next president is a fucking joke. Like it is. It's a joke. It's like a. It's like um, an episode of the Kardashians or some sort of reality TV show. Like, seriously, that's the two people you have, like, to lead your country of, like, over 600 million people. And uh, one of the big things that Red, Red Pill philosophy says because he believes that Donald Trump has balls. It's like, oh, the guy's not afraid to. Do we have his, isn't, I said I don't mean any disrespect. I actually enjoy really enjoy Will Paul full of his um, videos. But I'm just saying, like, look at both candidates. Don't, I can't understand how anybody can look at one candidate and completely disregard that person, and then look at the other candidate because that's the only other choice to have to go. Well, that guy's doing shit, but like not question, even though in your view. He might be the better choice, but not, like, question what he's doing and just have absolute um, confidence that it will make your country better. I, I can't understand that, like, maybe he has done it. I've only watched, like, 10, 12, 15 videos of this, so maybe he has done it in the past. That he's actually questioned, like, what Donald Trump is doing, but it doesn't seem like it, like, at all, like he's got Donald Trump t-shirts and shit. And it just really kind of bothers me. I'm like, what, like, if you're going to question one opposition, like Hillary Clinton, so much, because obviously she is just, she's the wrong person for the job. I'm telling you right now, don't let her in the office. But at the same time, Donald Trump, if you give Donald Trump the presidency, he's like, he's like that 14 year old that's been given everything that he's ever wanted, like everything on his Christmas list. Do you know what I mean? Like, for like 15 years, that guy has got. Everything he's ever wanted, and he's like, "Bomb, I'm going to run for president." Say, "Oh, but I got it. I got, I got, I got the president. I can't be stopped. I'm, I'm like, I can do whatever I want." <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm just saying from an outside perspective, looking into America, which may, may make me wrong. I'm, I'm not denying it, but I'm just saying. I mean, come on, question some things, man. I mean, come on. <laughs>